So hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me for a product review. This is about the Small Rig Mini LED Video Light RM01 kit. And this is my model today, this little deer mouse. Now the reason I'm showing you the deer mouse as my subject is because they have huge eyes and look what you see in the eyes. Catch lights. You can tell how many lights were used to shoot the sequence by looking into those eyes. And right now there's two lights from the Small Rig RM01 kit. And this is valuable for video. Because we can't use flash for video, we want to control the lights, and these lights are tiny, as is the mouse. And I'm going to show you the kit in great detail, but I wanted to open with this little subject. Because the other thing is, these lights make no noise. They have just one color spectrum, but as we pan back here, you can see how they're set up. Look how dramatic that is. And these are at the lowest heights for these tripods, at four and three quarters of an inch in height to the quarter twenty threaded tops there. Now we look into the eyes and on his right eye, our left, we see that there's two lights. So now we have a three light system, all at eye level to a mouse. So if you're working small, this system's for you. And now that we have his left eye to us, we could see for a moment there all three lights in it. And I'm gonna go over the features of the kit and how the light modifiers that come with it are really pretty good. So here's the cube from the back, and it shows mini LED light, model RM01, and it runs up five volts, 3.7 amps. And this is a little tripod that comes with it, and this is in the shortest setting. Again, at four and three quarters, they extend up to six and three quarters. Here's the control buttons on it, and there's a diffuser, a grid on the front. And we're showing the back and the sides, which is where the USB connects. I'll go over that later. Here's the box that it comes in. A very nicely laid out case with a nice textured fabric on the top by small rig and a zipper shut and it has a good handle on the end. Look at these tiny barn doors. You can put these light modifiers on these tiny LED lights and get a lot of control, again, for very small subjects. So here we go. There's a magnetic receiving plate on the front there that is removable. And the barn doors adjust 180 degrees out so you can have a vertical slit here as shown here for dramatic effect you can also just pull it off because it is magnetic and then you get a horizontal slit also for dramatic effect look at that high key light right there so then we're going to show you the other light modifiers that come with it too but this offers a lot of control open them wide up spread light everywhere but it is still a hard light you risk having blown out highlights when you have this and for video this kit has no competition. There's nothing this small out there. So here's the grid that gives us some light control again. It keeps the light from spilling over laterally from the light itself. And now look at this, a snoot. So this has magnets on it. A snoot gives you a very focused beam of light. So we're going to put that on there and look at that, totally controlled. So if we went down to a one light system or killed all the light in the room, you could do Rembrandt lighting or some other dramatic effect like that. But it also has a tendency to overheat the topic light-wise. So you can blow out your highlights. But it also tips down. I wanted to show how articulated this is. There's a groove on one side there on the tripod so you can actually point it down. The tripods are stable and don't seem to want to tip over at all. And we'll use these barn doors as our subjects. See how they're blown out in the middle? So look how dramatic that light is. Folds up nicely, and those pack in the very first cover that you encounter when you open up the kit. Now we have the grid back on. So you can light the textures, exploit contours, and cast a nice shadow. And the shadow gives away how hard the light source is. You also have an option here with a quarter 20 uh, mount that goes onto what's called a cold shoe. So you have other small rig equipment. You can put that on a video camera. You could put it on your small rig cages and extend the lights forward and get more control for video work. Now I'm going to show you how we can soften things up. They include diffusers. These things feel like they're made out of translucent silicone. Nice and soft. We have to pull that magnetic frame off because the silicone is not designed to go over that. It's designed to go on the cube by itself. What this does, it has a bulb that sticks out, hemisphere, and that throws soft light in every direction. Look how the shadows have softened. Look how everything is lit nicely. And so when we put one on all three, 
Then we're going to kill all the hot spots. We get a nice, soft, diffused light. So if you don't want harsh shadows, watch the shadows dissipate. And now we're looking again at that cold shoe adapter. And look how there are no blown out highlights, even though it's a black object, and my fingers are light in comparison. So you can do a three light system, single light system, or two light system on very small scale. And you have control of the intensity of the light with that button on the top of each of the cubes. And if you hold the button, it will turn off, or if you hold the button, it will turn on. And so there's a lot, a lot of nice storage in here. Every little space cut out perfectly for the snoots. Now in this kit, these little translucent storage bins, we have color filters, a whole bunch of them. I'm not a big fan of color filters myself, but it gives you options creatively to light things with different colors, which would add accent or kicker lights to a subject that you're covering. So let's show how that goes in. And they just insert into that magnetic frame that clips onto the sides there of your light. There you have it. We have a red filter. We're also going to keep the soft diffuser, the white light, as the main light. And then we're going to throw on another color, probably green here. And you line up the little tabs on the filter with the wide tabs that are in the small rig frame here. Goes in flat. Then you clip this back on to the body of the light cube. And now we have green and red. So we can use green and red side lights, hatchet lighting, whatever you want to call it, and the really soft diffuser light as the main. So you have lots of options. I was actually really impressed by this. This is a very inexpensive kit when you consider the entire thing is less than $100. The lights last a very long time. I did not do a longevity test that's been done already on YouTube and you can certainly look that up and see how long your lights will last. They will go for hours of course and the lower the setting for the light power the longer they're going to last. So that's the on off button on the top. Also it adjusts the intensity. There you go. There seems to be a large single light emitting diode in there. So the stands are metal, the housings are nicely textured, they're supposed to be all weather, although I did not take them out into the weather. And then of course here's the quarter 20 receiver, it looks like it's made out of brass, nice touch there, and this is the door that you will have to open if you're going to charge them. Now the cool thing was they arrived fully charged. So here's a little door, it's spring loaded, 5 volts in. S type. C-type connector. Anyway, the USB adapter cords come with the kit also. So now we're going to put them away, and that's how you store the soft diffusers on the cubes. And there's a little cutout for all three of them here. So nothing's going to bump into each other. This case is not going to make any noises in transit. It's going to be very handy to take it wherever you need it to be. And it's going to be great for video work. No noise from the lights, which is really critical if you're videoing small mammals or insects, which I do, by the way. Now we're putting the barn door away. You can see the little receiving areas for all three of the barn doors, so you have options. And uh, then, of course, down in those little kits on the bottom here, you put that screen in there, and of course, the magnetic ring that holds everything, plus those filter light colors. Very simple. Nice and out of the way. The tripods go over the top of that. And we're good. So by the way, this kit was not provided to me. I paid full price for it. I bought it on Amazon and look for the Amazon link down in the video description below. These are the USB connections to charge your pods, and as I said, they showed up fully charged as a green indicator light on the back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more reviews here at Fred's Fine Product Reviews. Have a great day.